Facebook world, hello YouTube world, Twitter and Instagram, beyond, wherever. I'm going to post this up to a lot of different places. Um, so forgive me if I stutter or if I stumble on a word, I'm sorry. Or if I mispronunciate a word, I'm very sorry. Don't mean to, but it's just the way I talk sometimes. Um, I'm making this video because about a place that I used to work at called Imperion Constar. I'm going to make this short, sweet, and simple for everybody because I want to get you to all the information as possible in a little bit amount of time. Um, so forgive me if it takes too long. I am trying to explain to everybody out there about why they shouldn't work at this location. There's two locations for Imperion Constar. Uh, one is on Glendale and the other one's on Bell. I'm not speaking about the one that's on Bell. I'm speaking about the one that's on Glendale. I don't know anything about the one that's on Bell, but I do know that there is a HR person named Trisha Smith who was really nice to me and helped me out and make sure that I got the money that was owed to me from the other location because it seemed like the other location wasn't really trying to help me out and to make sure that I got what I what was due to me. So, my name is Katrina. Hello to everybody. Now, I'm speaking about this company because I don't want people to go through the same things that I did. And to speak, um, to go further into the same things that, I'm, that I don't want other people to go through, I just got off the phone with unemployment. I was fired from the company on January the 12th. So that was a week and a half ago. Almost two weeks ago. And... The reason why I was fired was because I got angry and I got mad about the fact that two higher up supervisors, one named John and Mike, knew that my bonus money was not on my check. And from the time that I've been there, correction checks take three days if it's over a certain amount. If it's over $100, then it takes three business days. So, my problem was, was that they knew about it since Monday. And Wednesday just so happens to be that the internet's down, okay? So, they weren't going to get to it until Thursday, maybe even Friday, and then I probably wouldn't see it till next week, Wednesday. But, let's start from the beginning. When I worked there, it was a great place. The trainers were awesome. The people that I worked with on the floor was awesome. My uh, supervisor who supervised the people on the floor was awesome. I'm not going to go into that long, drawn-out thing, but I am going to get to the part that led up to me being fired. When I started in the new department that they did was called the CLG department. And the CLG department paid 25 cents more than what you were getting when you first started out there and from the ace department so when i was getting the 25 cents more during my training they came in they said that oh everybody's gonna get all these awesome bonus things and you're gonna get all this money and yada 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 so i was thinking okay awesome great you know i want to you know i was feeling happy about that so here comes the time that it's time to pay me nothing happened didn't get one red set and that really made me mad because you're telling me that I got to do all this stuff and I'm doing it I'm coming in on time and I'm leaving on time I'm taking my breaks on time so why am I not getting my money according to them it's because of the client now what we did was try to stop people from leaving a satellite company the client that owns the satellite company is a cell phone company cell phone the cell phone company starts with an a the satellite company starts with a d so you go from there if you thinking it's the it's the blue satellite company yes it is now now when they were telling us about all this money you know the first time i didn't get it until a month and a half after I was originally supposed to get it and the person that had to fight tooth and nail just for me to get my money that was owed to me was my supervisor named coach on the floor his name was coach his actual name was Charles and he fought tooth and nail just to get me what they owed and what they owed me was eight hundred dollars 
in bonus money because at that time you got bonus money every 45 business days you had to you had to have a certain amount of customers who had to have stayed with this satellite company for 45 business days and that's what you got from them because you got four points and each point was 16 cents and it just added up from there whether they got new equipment they got movie channels all that stuff it just added up from there you didn't get anything if they if they left this satellite company but you got money if they stayed and if they upgraded all that stuff so when my supervisor got me my money you know awesome great you know waiting for the next one next one came around we're not getting it that kind of made me mad because it's almost Christmas I want to get my boyfriend a really nice Christmas gift I want to get him a truck can't get him a truck now because you know they're saying the oh it's the client it's the client it's the client I don't believe that for one second because why wouldn't this big corporation that starts with an A that they don't pay they're not paying their workers that just makes no sense to me and they're like oh well, there's nothing we can do about it yada 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 now this time it wasn't just me that didn't get my money but about 15 other people and at this moment there's only two of those people left it's from the time that they told us that we weren't getting our money which was back in October of last year till now there's only two people left there was three but then I got fired so here comes the time I got fired which was on the 12th I got fired because a higher up supervisor by the name of John yelled at me on the floor and this is why he yelled at me earlier that day my money wasn't on my check okay I had went to Mike and John who are both two higher up supervisors that Monday said hey what's going on they didn't know squat diddly it was hard to get a hold of them um, so here comes Wednesday I'm like hey my money's not there still Mike tells me okay well come to me later on today if it's not there then we'll figure out what's going on okay fine here comes later on today still not there but I go to Mike because I don't know where John is and these two people are very hard to get a hold of plus I have told my supervisor and there's nothing that she can do because she's not in charge of doing any kind of correction checks so here comes the end of the day I'm about ready to get to clock out I tell John hey Mike said to come to him because the money's not on the money is not on my pay stuff because at that time it was Wednesday and all the payroll stuff is sent in Tuesday so they knew about this Monday actually they knew about it last week but they but I told them again Monday and they didn't do anything about it and then here comes Wednesday and since I've been there correction checks has always taken three days to process and then to be on your card the next day if it's not a weekend so I tell John John tells me well you're gonna have to wait because the internet's down fine I walk away I go to my computer I'm about to get signed out clocked out but I see Mike now Mike was the one who told me come to him if it's not there so that's exactly what I did I went to him and I said hey Mike it's not there okay well the internet's down right now so let's just fix this and then we'll get to that okay fine I turn around the minute I turn around Mike is John is yelling at me on the floor let me describe something to you what John looks like John looks like Moby with fucked up teeth that's what he looks like he looks like Moby with jagged teeth so he's yelling at me on the floor not in a room not in a quiet corner somewhere on the floor in front of everybody okay my team had already left they had left at th uh, 345 so at that time the five o'clock people were coming in or the the two something shift was coming in and they had already been there took their lunch break I mean their their 10 minute lunch break came back in 
they're all sitting down as he's yelling at me. And they were on the phone. Plus, one of my friends decided to stay a little later because she needed the hours. And she even heard him across the room. And she's on the phone. So, as he's yelling at me, he says this. This is why I'm frustrated with you. You never let us do what we need to do. I told you that we would get to it when we got to it. You're yelling at me on the floor in front of everybody? Is that even business appropriate? No, that's not business appropriate at all. That's not management material, but yet he still works there. It was okay for him to yell at me on the floor in front of everybody, but when I released my anger, and yes, I know, I shouldn't have did that. I cursed. I cursed on the outside of the floor. Not in the call center floor. On the, in the break room. And then when I got on the phone with my boyfriend and I told him everything was going on, I started cursing then. And yes, maybe I shouldn't have released my anger, but you're a manager. You're a higher up supervisor who's yelling at me on the floor about something you owe me. Something this company owes me. Money. I shouldn't have to wait. I shouldn't have to wait on you guys to give me what's due. So he's yelling at me on the floor. I turn around. I said, okay, fine. I go back to my desk. I clock out. My friend was like, well, what was he yelling at you about? I heard him all the way over here. I said, they owe me money. So I clock out. I got real pissed off. And I started cursing on the outside in the break room. And then again on the outside of the of uh, Imperion. But see, that's the joys of working here. They will stress you out to the point where you either get yourself fired or you'll quit. And that's what they were trying to do. Because remember when I told you that they had owed me money from back in October of last year? Yeah, they had 15 of us in the room saying that, well, if you get fired or you quit, you don't get, to, you don't get your money. So just so happens that there's only two of us left now. And I'm pretty sure that there's probably going to be no more people left. Because that means that they don't have to pay people that money. And it's really sad because people were relying on that money. And now it's, oh well. But, again, that's the joys of working at Imperion Constar. Now, let me show you something else of, of working there. Okay? This is, this is my boyfriend's hire packet. He got hired on December the 23rd, 2016. They told him that he was going to get $11 an hour. And let me show you this. Because this is why you shouldn't work at a company, especially, this is why you shouldn't work at a company that's going to lie to you. Now, I don't know about the other one that's on Bell Road, but this one is known for lying to people. Okay, look at this. What does that say right there? Doesn't that say that he's getting $11 an hour? 825 is or was the minimum wage in Arizona. And then they were given $2.75 for your attendance bonus. Now your attendance bonus is only based on if you do 40 hours at the end of that week, which is Friday. So if you didn't have the 40 hours, then you don't get your attendance bonus. You only get down to the 825. Someone who's not even a supervisor, who's not even a higher up person, told everybody that they were changing the attendance bonus. People that got hired were not getting their attendance bonus. They were only getting $10 an hour. And they didn't tell anybody until afterwards. See, look at this date right here. What does that date say? December the 23rd. There's my boyfriend's signature and the training manager's signature. Okay? I mean, not the training, but the, the recruiter. Okay? So, they didn't even tell anybody. Didn't say nothing. Just automatically. You're getting $10 an hour. And a lot of places, like car places or apartments or houses or whatever, they need your pay stub to say a certain amount of it. Two times the rent is what some of the places in Phoenix, Arizona needs. So 
They didn't tell anybody until they got on the floor. And then everybody walked out. Because what's the point of working there if you can just work at McDonald's and get the same shit? Work at Walmart and get the same $10 an hour. Why would you waste your time at Imperion Constar busting your butt and then they lie to you and tell you, oh, you're not getting $11, you're only getting 10 Tried to sneak that in there real sly. And then once they told people, everybody quit. Because, let me explain something to you. The day, no, the weeks before, there was a room full of people that was training. Because everybody was under the impression they were getting 10 And then after that, they all quit just didn't show up and I told people that I told people that was gonna happen everybody was gonna leave because they were lying to them so here's another thing okay the person that fired me was named Preston he's in the HR department and I hope this comes out real good because I want you to be able to hear every last thing to you know be able to understand that if you work here you're not gonna be the only one that they're gonna lie to and they're going to lie to you and they're going to mess your whole entire life check whatever up. Just like they did to me, just like they did to several other people before me. Okay, listen to this. Yes, this is she. Hi, Katrina. This is Preston oh. calling you back from... Oh, hold on. Wrong one. I want you to listen to that one afterwards. I want you to listen to this one. Because I want you to hear the lies. 5165. Now, what you're telling what you're telling me is is that I might not have hit the metrics to get my sales bonus, but I mean, I don't understand why I wouldn't have hit it when if I didn't hit my metrics to hit my sales bonus, then I wouldn't have gotten my attendance bonus. Uh, one actually doesn't have anything to do with the other. The attendance bonus is a separate bonus from the sales bonus that only qualifies on hours. The sales bonus is based on just what it says is uh, either sales, I don't know exactly what the metrics are, uh, but in order to be eligible for that, you have to have worked enough hours or you lose your sales bonus. Okay, and I, under and I understand that, but see, my thing is, is that the whole entire time that I was there, um, I've always, I've always hit my metrics, plus I was informed that I would be getting my bonus money on this final check. And who informed you that you would be getting your bonus money? You did. I came to you the day you fired me. You said that I would get my bonus money. What the hell? On my final check. When I explained to you that I needed my money, and when it's a correction check that's over $100, it takes three days, which means that I wouldn't get it until the following week. And you said that I would get it on my final bonus. I mean, on my, on my last check, which is today. And my exact words were that any money due to you would be paid at that time. Now, I don't show anything that you qualify for that. Like I said, I have to research it because I don't handle that piece of it. I am, so I will research it and call back once I have an answer. Okay. All right, then. Have a great day. You too. Okay, so as you heard, anything that was owed to me. Now, here's the thing. Any company that I have dealt with, when you are owed money, they give it to you within a certain amount of time. Either they put it in your card or they mail it to you, whatever. But they, mail, they do it in a certain amount of time, and they make sure every single last penny is paid to you. So you don't have to call back. So why is it that I had to call back several different times? And not to this place. Not to this one. That's on, that's on Glendale. I had to call and talk to Trisha Smith, who works at the other Imperion on Bell Road in Phoenix, Arizona. That's corporate. 
I had to go to the lady at corporate. And you know what? I think she's an awesome person. She helped me out. She made sure I got my money. And I would inform people that if you want to go, if you need a job like right now and, you know, you don't mind sitting at a desk for eight hours a day, go to this one. Go to this one. And their address is 3561 West Bell Road, Phoenix, Arizona, 85053. Their phone number is 602-889-3655. Now, some people would say, oh, well, what if they do the same thing there? Okay, well, Trisha Smith, she didn't have to help me. I'm from another flipping location. She didn't have to help me. She helped me and she made sure that I got my money. Because the other location didn't give a crap and wasn't trying to and their location which is the location I would advise you not to work at and if you do work at that one make sure you either get everything in writing or you record it you know be discreet about the recording part but make sure you get everything down to a T because they have no problem screwing you over and not even blinking so their address is is 5260 West Phelps Road, Glendale, Arizona, 85308. Their phone number is 602-559-9300. Now that location is where all this awesomeness happened. Is where a lot of unfortunateness happened. Okay? Let me explain to you. Five. Five different supervisors. All quit. Because they were trying to put them back on the phones. And that main reason is, is because when they were on the phones before they became supervisors, Imperion owed them money. So, these higher up supervisors will take you off the floor when you're just a regular retention person on the phones. They'll put you as a supervisor you know, pat you on the head, tell you you're doing a good job, and the next thing you know, bam, they're going to tell you you're back on the phones. Why? Because if they put you back on the phones, that means that they know that either one or two things is going to happen. Either one, and this is the one they're hoping for, that you quit. And once you quit, you don't have to get your money. They don't have to pay you squat because you quit. So they don't have to give you your money that they owed you from when you were on the phones to begin with. Or two, you go back on the phones, which is something that they don't hope you do. They don't want you to do that. They want you to quit. That way they don't have to pay the money that they owe you. Isn't that awesome? How they work that way? Because it just so happens that all those 15 people that they owed, that they keep saying that the client, the client, the client, the client owes the money, but yet it's funny how 15 people were there and then they're all gone now. There's only two people left that the client owes money to. And I guarantee you that those two people are going to be gone too. Because they don't want to pay anything. Or at least not as much. I mean, my first bonus money was $800. I'm guaranteeing it that, this, that the bonus money that they owed me back in October it was anywhere between five and 1000 So... Why not try to get rid of me? Why not mess my checkup so I would get angry and end up getting fired or quitting? That's what they're hoping people would do so they don't have to pay them. And so here's another one. Because right now I'm at 24 and 24 minutes and 12 seconds. So I'm trying to make this video as short and sweet as possible because I want you to be informed about everything before you even apply. I mean, like I said, apply if you're only going to be there for a few months, but don't go there to work there because they will fuck you over. And I've been the one who has, you know, promoted them, you know, said that this is a great place to work and all, all this other stuff. But then once they started fucking me over... It became, okay, yeah, I see what other people were talking about. I saw this one person said that she was going to take them to court and sue them because they owed her money. 
And I didn't realize or acknowledge the fact that, hey, well, maybe there is something going wrong here. Maybe, you know, I should leave and find something different. But I didn't think about it then. And now I'm, and now I'm trying to make sure that no one else has to go through that same problem. But here's another video. And this is what I love. You, in this video, you'll hear Preston tell me to stop talking to the lady at corporate who helped me out and making sure that I got my money. She was the only one who helped me. Because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have gotten my money. Five, one, oh, six, five. Crap. Wrong one. Backspace. Okay, so it's that one. Yes, this is she. Shit. Oops. Okay. Play it again. <laughs> yes, this is she. Hi, Mr. Trainer. This is Preston calling you back from. Hello. Hi, I just wanted to give you a call. I did have a chance to speak to our payroll department. And apparently, what happened is when they put in the floating holiday, the system did not recognize that you had worked enough hours to qualify for the bonus. I am so they are issuing a correction check for that. Uh, that will be signed off by the director today and sent in uh, the $125. So when should I have it by? Today's Tuesday. So should I, I should have it Thursday. I we can't guarantee that. My uh, payroll is currently prop, uh, which all correction checks cannot process until payroll is done processing. I am um, so I don't have a date for you, but I am submitting a correction check for it today, and they'll be processed in the orders that they're received. Okay, so my thing is, is that it takes three days for a correction check. So three days is either Thursday or Friday. Uh, there's no guarantee that the correction check is within three days. Okay, so I should expect it no later than... I should expect it no later than, because that's what I've been told. Correction checks take three, three days, three business days. And today is Tuesday. Uh, like I said, there is no guarantee for correction checks being issued within three business days. That is certainly not our company policy, nor has it ever been. Okay, I mean, I... God damn fall. I just know that the last few times that I've done correction checks with Amelie, John, or Mike, it's, they told me three days that I should have it, but alrighty then, so, I mean, I should, ex I mean, should I expect it on payday, which is Friday? Uh, that would certainly be our goal, but I can't guarantee that. Like I said, okay. across the, the order that they're received, uh, which we have sent that request in today, uh, and they're processed in the order that they're received. Alright. So, all right. uh, also, uh, please make sure that you're directing all correspondence to me. Uh, Trisha Smith actually has nothing to do with my location, uh, so I'd appreciate it if you directed all of your communication to me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. So, just like you heard him tell me that I can no longer talk to Trisha Smith. Trisha Smith is corporate. She is the head person at that location for, that's the corporate office. And he's telling me that I can't talk to her about what's going on with the fact that this Imperion has effed up my money. My money. Okay? So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I thank Trisha Smith for everything that she's done and the fact that she helped me get my money. But how dare you tell me that I can't talk to her when it pertains my money? When you weren't even trying to make sure that I was paid properly. Okay? Because Arizona law... 
Arizona state law, when it comes to someone, when it comes to an employer that fired you, they have seven business days to get you your money. Or if their regular payday comes sooner. But being that their regular payday wasn't sooner because I got fired on the 12th and I was getting my other paycheck from them on the 13th. They had seven business days from the 12th. They didn't put that I got fired until the 11th. I mean, they didn't put that I got fired until the day after, which was the 13th. But I got fired on the 12th. And then I didn't get my check until the 23rd that night so instead of them so what they pretty much did was make sure that I got it on the 23rd because when I try to apply for benefits until I can find employment again the um the benefits people said that they didn't put in that I was fired and even when I called them they said that it still says that you still work here so my problem is, is that if they fired me, why does it still, I still says, according to DSHS and unemployment, it said that I still work there. That sounds like some shady kind of stuff right there. Like, why would it still say that I work there, even though I don't work there? You fired me. So why doesn't it say on the computer and the system for the state that I don't work there? But anyway, whatever. So, as you heard... I was supposed to get $125. I wish I can show you the text message that I got from my bank. It wasn't deposited no $125. I got $80. And I know that's a bull-faced lie that I was supposed to get $120 because I saw what my bonus was supposed to be. It was supposed to be $150. But I did, now I'm not going to get $150. I'm going to get $125. And then $125 went to $80. Even with taxes... I claim myself. So even with taxes, at 0 0.8 is how much taxes I take out. I still would have gotten $100. So I only got 80 Plus, there's no pay stub. There's no pay stub. Like, I go on my ADP website, there's no pay stub. Which is very concerning to me as to why there's no pay stub. But whatever. Anyway, like I said, I'm trying to make this short and sweet and inform everybody in the Phoenix, Arizona, Glendale, uh, wherever else, you know, don't work at that one. And just to, you know, make sure you have that address. Hold on. I want to make sure everyone has this address to make sure that they don't go work there. Their address is 5260 West Phelps Road. Glendale, Arizona, 85306. Okay? And I want to make sure that you don't go through the same crap that I went through, that my boyfriend went through, that all five supervisors that they promoted went through. I mean, the crap that people are going through now. I don't want anybody to go through that. And that's why I'm doing this video. It's not to harm the company. It's not the company's fault. But it is the company's fault when they hire people that don't think about their employees first. And the people that they hire just do nothing but lie. I mean, you heard him. I was supposed to get $125. My deposit was only $80. Then, you're lying about the correction checks. I have plenty of pay stubs. Plenty of pay stubs that pertain to the correction checks okay not pay stubs but deposits where they were supposed to give me this amount and then they fixed it and then they sent me a correction check and the correction check if it's over a hundred dollars it'll give given to you within three days if it's under a hundred dollars it'll be on your next check I have plenty of deposits from them stating how much and when so now you're going to sit there and lie about it. But here's another video. Another video. Another recording. Sorry. <sighs> because, like I said, I want you to be informed. Now this is Trisha Smith. 
she works at the corporate at the first address that I gave you. Um, this one. The offices of both Imperian Marketing and Construct Financial Services. If you know your party's extension. Like I said before, she is an awesome lady. She was really nice and she Good helped me out. This is Tammy. How may I direct your call? Hi, Tammy. I was just calling to see if Trish was in the office. Uh, I am sorry. I don't have that information. I'm at the reception area, but I can transfer you if you'd like. Yes, please. One moment. Okay. Hey, Trisha, this is Katrina McLean. Yes, Katrina. I was just calling to see if you, um, if they put in the correction check for me. I thought I don't know Preston's working on it, and I can't see it anymore, so. Okay, um, because I know yesterday you said that you were gonna see it to make sure that they put it in. Because I know normally when it's under a certain amount, the money is normally deposited onto my card um, late Thursday night before midnight Friday. At least that's what happened with this this past one and all of the other checks that were under a certain amount. No, 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 I'm talking about my correction check for my bonus money. So, the only thing I see is a deposit of $213.40 on the 27th for tomorrow. I can't see anything else. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I can't be I don't, I can't see anything. All I can see is a regular deposit. So I'm supposed to be getting a deposit tomorrow? It says on the 27th, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. So like, like with mine, it's usually first thing in the morning. Maybe about 3 or so in the morning. I can usually tell that it's in there. Okay. Okay. Alright. So, um, I think that's it. Thank you. Um, could you possibly look into the correction check? Because Preston was the one who said that um, he sent it to payroll on Tuesday. And I don't want to have to call back if it's not there come tomorrow. Unfortunately, I was told that you'll have to go through Preston. I'm not allowed to participate in anything further. Okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I mean, I thank you for, I thank you for your, your, your help that you did give me. So. Sorry. I can't see it through to the end, but I'm. Yeah. Not permitted to do so. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Bye. Okay. Now you just heard her say that she's not permitted to help me out, even though she's corporate. She's HR corporate, and she was told not to help me out. Why? Because I went to her, and she helped me out to begin with. She helped me out the first time. The day I was fired, she was the first person that I went to, and I told her what happened. Because not only did I curse the day I, the, when I left the building, but a week before that, I did put on Craig's on Facebook to not work there because they're known for fucking people over and if they turn you into a supervisor it's because they owe you money from when you were on the phones and now they want to put you back on the phones because nine times out of ten you'll quit which 
primarily should be a lawsuit because hell I was told by someone who worked there not a supervisor but like he was somebody on the floor who helped out people um, that if they owe you money that you can sue them because they owe you money but it's not check money it's bonus money that was supposed to be given to me when everybody else got there so I never did it but it's fine like I said I want to make sure everybody's informed I want to make sure everybody has all the information because what's the point of going here and working here I just applied at a place called Alpha Connect and granted um, I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing I hope not but it's ten dollars an hour it says it right there, $10 an hour. It's not like, you know, I'm signing a paper that says $11, $12, $13 an hour, and then when I get my foot into the door and they hire me, and it's actually $10 an hour. Because as you've seen, that paper that my boyfriend signed said $11 an hour, but they were going to get him, only pay him $10 an hour. So they're lying. And you shouldn't work for a company that'll do that. But I don't know about the other one, the other Imperion on Bell Road. I don't know about that one. But I do know at this one, yes. So I want to make sure that everyone has all the information properly and correctly. I thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And enjoy job hunting. I am. Bye now.